Hey guys, it's Liz from BioViva, and today we're going to be talking about gene therapy. So hang tight and enjoy the conversation. So the genes in your body play an important role in your health. So whether you're made of wood or you're a human biologic, uh, your genes actually are associated with your risk of disease. Recognizing this, decades ago, scientists started to look at the ability to manipulate those genes. Can we edit those genes? Can we change them? Can we add new genes? And today, we're actually seeing success in this area. If you're born with a defective gene, it can be detrimental to your health. A, a single gene mutation, a defect in just one gene, is called a monogenic defect. And it can actually lead people into decades of disorder and in an early death. So when we first looked at gene therapy, this was an early, easy problem to solve. Today, we're able to take that single gene, the gene that's defective in the patient, and replace it with a copy of a healthy one. And vastly, that is helping patients now live decades after diagnosis. Gene therapy can be performed both inside and outside the body. So an in vivo gene therapy means that we've actually injected a patient with the gene therapy and the gene therapy is working or acting on the patient, the whole organism within the body. An ex vivo gene therapy is when we take cells from a patient out and we treat those with the gene therapy and then we inject those back into the body. So in vivo, in the body, ex vivo, outside of the body, and then put into the body. A lot of people ask me, is gene therapy natural? Well, actually, gene therapy is a very natural process. This is an evolutionary process that has happened over time. So whether it be gene mutations through two people meeting each other and having an offspring that's slightly different, or whether it's brought to you by viruses in your environment. Viruses are great gene therapy um, integrators. Some of these gene therapies that we've taken over time from viruses are actually beneficial to humans. Some of them are responsible for how we think. Uh, ways, different ways that we look, and even the ability for more people to have a successful full-term baby. Integration of viruses over time has actually helped evolve humans. So gene therapy, in fact, is a natural process, but now we can actually take it and start focusing it towards our desires. What are desirable genes that we actually want to integrate and give us certain benefits? So with gene therapy, we can do several things. We can edit out a gene and replace it with a copy of a new one. We could just put a new gene into the nucleus of the cell that will code for a protein, or we can actually actively work to turn off genes that we don't want turned on in your body. So genes code for proteins, and if we want to stop that protein from being made, we can actually silence it. So today we work with natural human genes. Uh, that's most of gene therapy. We look for genes that give you a regenerative advantage. So when we're looking at treating aging, what are we doing? We're trying to increase regeneration rather than degeneration. So aging over time is cellular degeneration. It's the accumulation of damage. We want to actually create cells that regenerate over time rather than degenerate. And what we do is we look at human genes that already exist that are known to do these things. One of them would be HTER. It's a gene that actually increases the telomeres in, on the ends of your chromosomes, and we'll talk about that in another talk that you can link to. Another gene would be a myostatin inhibitor, something that increases your muscle mass. It essentially codes for a protein that blocks the ability of your body to block muscle mass building, therefore making you stronger. But how do we deliver these genes? So these viruses essentially have the ability to hook up to your cells and put in genetic material. We actually create viruses that can't get you sick. They can't replicate any illness. All they can do is deliver human genes. And that's how human gene therapy is delivered today. So you're probably thinking, wait a minute, I heard virus. Virus sounds very scary and sounds like I'm gonna get sick. 
but these are called attenuated viruses. And that's a really big word that just means that they cannot replicate. So as soon as they deliver their payload, they leave the system. So if you take a gene therapy, you're not contagious. You, no one can catch the gene therapy from you. And it's in, within 24 to 48 hours, the treatment has actually left your body. Gene therapy is super awesome because what we can do is we can actually look at the code of your life and we can change that for health benefits. It's exciting technology. Uh, some of these treatments are one treatment to a cure. Uh, so that's what we're seeing in monogenic disease. So I don't know if you've heard of boy in the bubble disease. It's called severe combined immune deficiency. And this used to be a disorder that children suffered from and they would have essentially, if they were outside of a sterile environment, they could catch a cold that would kill them. And today there's a one-time treatment uh, to, that cures that disease, uh, creating a completely different world for these kids. Now, if we look at the potential to treat a multigenic disease, something like aging, uh, now we're looking at the potential to create a, a whole workforce that doesn't have to retire early, that can actually be productive, you know, live in houses with stairs, play tennis, you know, actually people enjoying their life. So even people who are not excited about what does curing aging mean, they are very excited about not dying of Alzheimer's. You know, anyone who's had someone in their family like that uh, knows how terrible that is. Not since antibiotics and immunizations have we seen this type of power of technology. So antibiotics and immunizations radically changed the way we live. Uh, that with workplace safety and sanitation has increased lifespans to what we actually have today. So back at the turn of the century in 1900, people lived an average of 47 years in the US. And the retirement rate was set at 65 because most of the population didn't even live to 60. Uh, today, we have people who will live upward of 110 and are retiring very early, which is actually very difficult on the economy. The ability to use gene therapy to keep people active and part of the workforce uh, longer is actually helps not only us live better, but it helps us actually help the whole world live better. What would be the benefits of the future of gene therapy? How will it radically shift your life? Right now, your parents or your grandparents might take an average of five, six, seven, eight pills a day. Each one of those small molecules, when they go in, they have some off-target effects that we don't want. They're called side effects. And they might damage their liver, they might damage their kidney. But what if you can create the drugs that you need right inside the cell, using the cell as the manufacturing facility? Well, that's essentially what gene therapy is. We're putting in a therapeutic gene that upregulates a protein that your body needs, and then your body's able to use that. It's using it with its own information that it already knows how to read and understand and transcribe. So the future of uh, gene therapy, it will replace many of the things that we do today, uh, we won't have to do. And whether that's invasive surgeries or, or bottles and bottles of pills, uh, we can actually create the regeneration that we need at our cellular level. So again, with gene therapy, we can replace damaged genes or we can add beneficial genes. Those genes can upregulate regeneration or create a protein that we need right now. Introducing new genes can re-stimulate growth and regeneration in the body, uh, giving us the, the sort of advantage that we will need to be healthier for a longer period of time. So what did you think about gene therapy? It's pretty exciting. Your future looks bright. So if you want to learn more, follow us, follow the links below, and look out for our new episodes. Have a great day, and I look forward to your genetic future.